Hey everyone, happy Monday. Welcome back to Metaphysical Monday at the Fossil Cartel. Hope you all had a good weekend. I've been thinking about all the things that we need in order to survive this crazy time, these crazy times that we're living in. I talked about stones for, what was it, transformation and grounding and centering. And today I want to talk to you about stones for flexibility because it behooves us to be flexible in all aspects of our lives, physical, mental, emotional, in order to weather the storm and weather everything. You know, like when you break a bone or break something in your body, a lot of times it's because we're stiff. And when we're flexible, we're more graceful in dealing with situations. So I think it's really important to be flexible if you're not doing yoga, I highly recommend it. Um, we want to keep our bodies flexible as well as our minds and our emotions and just our whole being, right? Because we are living in very challenging times right now. So, stones for flexibility. So this information again is from Judy Hall's book, The Crystal Bible. So first we have bloodstone. And some of these stones I talked about before because they're also good for centering and grounding as well. And they do other things, but I find it interesting that they're so versatile. They do so many different things. So, for instance, I did talk about bloodstone before, but it's also good for flexibility. So here's a bloodstone sphere, and we have these, uh, you know, bloodstone's actually hard to find. Um, there's only so much of it, and I found these smaller spheres, and we're selling them for about $26. I think they're from <clears throat> $22 to $26. We have bigger ones too, but I love these small sizes. So bloodstone gives courage and teaches how to avoid dangerous situations by strategic withdrawal and flexibility. Here's a bloodstone ring. It encourages selflessness and idealism and aids the recognition that chaos precedes transformation. So this is also a stone for transformation and it reminds us that even though it looks like everything's going to hell, <laughs> it's just the time before we actually transform into something better. And hopefully, that, anyway, that's the case. Here's a bloodstone heart. We have these nice big puffy bloodstone hearts. This one has a nice streak of red right at the top. And this one is $24. And here's another. This is a sterling silver rain, um, bloodstone pendant. That. And then the next one is muscovite. Here's a big piece of muscovite. So muscovite eliminates anger and nervous stress to bring flexibility at all levels of being. Muscovite has the ability to allow recognition of the f flaws in humanity. We've been recognizing that a lot lately, huh? <laughs> and at the same time stimulates unconditional love and, and acceptance. That sounds like something we could all use. Here is a smaller piece of muscovite. This is muscovite and it's got some quartz mixed in. So muscovite is a type of mica. You can see the little layers in there. And then we have pink petalite, which we just have in the tumbled stones. It's also pretty rare. So petalite is a stone of compassion. It promotes flexibility while maintaining gentle strength. It strengthens the emotional body and releases fear and worry. I'm sure a lot of us are feeling some fear and worry during these crazy times. And then aragonite, which is another stone I talked about before this one. Aragonite aids concentration on the matter at hand and brings flexibility and tolerance to the mind. 
I don't know about you, but I could use some tolerance because I get fed up with seeing the crazy crap that's going on. <laughs> so, whoops! There goes my muscovite. <laughs> There's another one. And then aragonite's one of those interesting minerals because it takes on different formations. There's another formation of aragonite. It's very interesting looking. It almost looks like coral. It also comes in this blue color. And then we have chalcedony, blue chalcedony in particular. Here's some blue chalcedony from Turkey. It imparts mental flexibility and verbal dexterity, enhancing listening skills and communication. This is a nice palm stone, fits in the palm, and it's good for meditation. We also have some big stand-ups like this one here. Very, very attractive, great color. Here is a blue chalcedony, whoops, where'd it go? <laughs> blue chalcedony carved pendant. And here's a, a bottle pendant where you could put your essential oils in. Comes on this long chain. There's another beautiful blue chalcedony pendant. This one's in sterling silver. And it's cut out on the back. And we have the aqua color blue chalcedony too. This one's with a little pearl. This is a Steve Wolf piece, so it has a heart cut out in the back. And as well as earrings, same kind of design. It's got hearts on the back. I love his little cutouts on the back. And then here's a blue chalcedony ring. And again, I apologize. I can't see anybody's comments or questions or who's watching, but I will answer them after if you have any. Okay, I think that was everything. So stay flexible, everyone. Gain some flexibility. We'll see you on Wednesday for Wednesday updates. Cheers.